Hello guys, how's it going? Today I want to show you another quick tutorial, key shot tutorial. Today I want to show you how to achieve this, this effect here. Uh, there is no effect going on here, and then there's this cool rugged looking effect going on in the middle of this bottle here. And if you pay close attention, it's not a bump map, it's actually a displacement map. Uh, meaning, a bump map, when you look at an object that has a bump map, if you look at the edges, the object looks perfectly smooth. But if you just pay close attention here, it's not smooth, it's kind of like cracked looking. So that's what, I, what I'm going to show you today, and um, you can play with it on your own, it's actually pretty simple. So what you want to do, you want to go to Keyshot. Um, I have the bottle here, I actually got it from the cloud library. Um, so I'm just going to go to my original environment, so it's white and my free camera. So we have the displacement map here, uh, we're just going to double click on it, we go to material graph, I'm just going to delete everything so we can start from a new. So a displacement map is basically a geometry node that takes a pattern or a grayscale picture, JPEG or TIF, whatever format. And then it actually translates that pattern into a physical part of the model. So with the bump map, it doesn't actually change the physical model, but with the displacement uh, node, it actually changes the physical attributes of the model. So what do I mean by that? Let me sh give you an example. Um, so here we're just going to go to geometry, we're going to do a displace node, and then we're going to have to attach this to geometry because it's a geometry node. And remember, every time you change something in a geometry node, you're going to uh, press this, execute geometry node. Um, so let's go to textures and say mesh. We want to do a mesh. Um, now, if you connect this mesh to this place, and let's press C first. Let's look at our mesh. I actually like this mesh here. Um, I do not like this one here. Uh, let's do box. That's that's fine. We're going to have to change it later. Uh, I'm just going to show you how the displace works. Uh, we press C again, and we're going to displace. Uh, the displacement height is 100, and the triangle size is 1 millimeter. So let me show you what's going to happen now. We're just going to execute it. And that's what's gonna happen. Since it's it's huge, it's gonna look obviously bad. So we're gonna have to decrease that to say one millimeter. And the triangle size, um, if you press H, which I have before, as you can see, the triangles in this object is two like two and a half million something. So as you know, a physical object in this uh, 3D CAD modeling software is comprised of millions of triangles. So the more triangles, the smoother it looks like, right? Uh, so if you decrease the triangle size, then we'll have more triangles, and then we'll basically have a more smoother version of uh, the object. So that's basically the resolution of uh, this knot here. So displacement heights, we change it to one. Uh, we're gonna change the triangle size to 0.01, and we're gonna execute it. Let's see what's gonna happen. There we go. So this is what we have. As you can see, uh, the, the dots are caving inside. They're not actually sticking out. And that's because black is zero and one is white. So if you want the dots to like pop out, you just have to attach a color invert here. And again, we go execute it. And as you can see, the physical model itself has changed. Now for something, uh, for something that looks better, we can just delete these two, uh, just execute the geometry node so it looks normal. Um, so we can go to textures, we can go to cellular, and so if you connect this to the displace node and we execute the geometry node, the whole thing's, the whole thing's gonna uh, look kind of ruggedish. And we don't want that. Uh, you, you saw it in the first render that I showed you. It's like in the middle. It, it's like just the middle part is is rugged looking, but not the top and not the bottom part. So we're just gonna disconnect that. Um, we are going to add a color composite, and we're gonna connect this to displace, and we're gonna connect this to source. And for that, uh, we need a gradient tool, a gradient knot. So it's black. 
in the top of it, and then it's white, and then it gets or it, it goes to black again. So as I said, black is zero, white is one. Always remember that. Um, we go to color gradient, and we connect that to source alpha. Let's press C. Let's look at it. Okay, this is obviously not what we want. Um, we can add another color thingy here. Uh, there we go. And uh, this can be white, and this can be black. So it's it's uh, zero, one, zero. And planar is fine. Um, we can rotate it ninety degrees. There we go. This actually looks this actually looks about right. But you can you can uh, move your uh, gradient thing here like that, and you can like play with the scale. Uh, let's do one. 175, for example. See, so these black parts, they're not going to show the ruggedness of our uh, our material here, our texture here. So we're just going to press C again, and nothing happened, obviously. It's because you have to go to this place, and you have to execute the geometry node. And there we go, there we have it. As you can see, it's, it's zero, it's nothing's going on here, and then you come down and a lot of things are going on here. And if you zoom in here, you can see that it's not flat. It's kind of, it's, uh, it's like, how do you say, it's like cracked looking. It's not straight. So that's what we want. Um, now, if we wanted to use a bump map, which we can use the cellular for the bump map, or as a bump map, then you'd see that this edge here would be completely flat. As a matter of fact, actually, let me show you. Uh, so we're just going to duplicate that, and I'm just going to, Disconnect that one and connect this bump here. And I'm just gonna execute geometry node. So as you can see, the bump height is a lot in this one. Actually, I think it's more than, no, it's, it's one. So, so we can reduce that to 0.1 so it looks natural. And if you zoom in, you see that it's completely flat. Uh, and that's how you differentiate between a displacement node and the, a bump node. So this is this is a perfect tool for like trying to do like uh, something like a cell phone case, uh, like a suitcase, things like that. You don't have to do it in your CAD software. You can just bring bring it bring the pattern here, and you can like play with it. And then if you want to finalize it, you can do it in your CAD software or whatever. Um, that's a great tool. It's a it's a great little handy tool um, that Keyshot has. And that should be all for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you learned anything today. And I will see you next week.